Hi, welcome everyone to Techverse. Today, let's talk about how you can make a 2,500 watts or 2.5 kilowatts inverter. The heart of the project is the PWM driver, the TL494IC. You can instead obtain one for cheap, and the voltage source is 12 volts. So this is the input filtering capacitors. So connect everything as shown. So the TL494 comes in a drawing line package of 16 pins, numbered from 1 to 16. You can easily obtain the pin out online. So connect everything as shown, pin 1 and 16 to ground, pin 4 to ground, pin 3 to pin 2 via this resistor, the 20 kilo ohms. Pin 15 and pin 2 put them to 5 volts using these 51 kilo ohms resistors. The 5 volts is generated by the reference pin 14. Okay, the output control pin connected to 5 volts also. This will establish the IC to operate in push-pull mode rather than in parallel mode. So then current limiting resistors, they are two pull-ups written for 100 ohms and 2 watts each. So since the AC can source or sink about 200 milliamps, just keep that in mind when selecting the resistance values depending on the input voltage. If you intend to use more than 12 volts, I recommend you use a regulator to power the IC and to safeguard your MOSFETs or you include Zener diodes across the gate and source of the MOSFETs. 12 to 15 volts should do okay. The frequencies determined by the parameters of C2 and resistor R1. So the formula is as shown. Just input any values until you get your desired frequencies. But with 100 nanofarads and 100 kilo ohms, the frequency is 50 hertz. So the two emitters of the output drivers, E1 and E2, will be generating complementary square wave passes with a duty cycle of about 48.5% on each side. So when E1 is high, Q1, Q2, and Q3 will conduct, and current will flow from 12 volts through the lower half primary winding, through the MOSFETs into ground. So when E2 turns on, current will flow from the 12 volts, and through the other half primary winding, through the MOSFETs into ground. So the MOSFETs, you should use high current MOSFETs. The IRF, that is 205, they are very good since they can handle 100 amperes each. So if you parallel three of those, they should be able to handle more than 250 amperes, which is required to output 2.5 kilowatts. Just mount them on appropriate heat sinks and include the gate discharge resistors to ensure they completely turn off when not being driven. So the transformer, just select one which can handle 2,000 and 500 watts and the output voltage will be dependent on the trans ratio between the primary and the secondary winding. You can obtain 120 volts or 240 volts depending on your winding parameters. The PCP for the project is as shown. It's very tiny, just about 7 centimeters by 5 centimeters. This is everything. How it's connected. Here is the battery, the capacitor, the connections to the center tab primary of the transformer, the MOSFETs on one side of the primary winding and the other side, the IC and its biasing circuit. So the blue the blue track at the bottom copper and the red track is the top copper or jumper. And the final project looks as shown. It's a very neat, small and compact PCB for its power. So your battery goes here. And the primary of the transformer goes here. This is the center tap. This one half primary winding end and the other end. These are the MOSFETs on one side. And the other side, they get distant resistors. The timing capacitor, timing resistor. The driver resistors for each side. And that's just basically it. This is the IC. So don't forget to drop a like below. Comment if you have any suggestions or queries. And subscribe to my channel for more amazing projects and tutorials. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a nice